All right, all right, all right. Just two games into their brutal 2017 schedule, the Denver Broncos are undefeated and look unstoppable, as seen Sunday afternoon as they serve the Dallas Cowboys a shellacking at Sports Authority Field. Hey, Broncos country, Alexis Perry here back with another Denver Post Sports Minute. There's been a lot of shade thrown in Trevor Simeon's way, so in return, he's just thrown touchdowns, proving time and time again Vance Joseph and company made the right decision, putting him at the helm of the offense. Simeon connected with Emmanuel Sanders twice in the first half, including on the first drive of the game to give the hometown team the lead just before a 62-minute weather delay. Unlike the Rockies, the Broncos weren't phased by the game break and continued to crush the Cowboys in all three phases of the game once the sun came back out. Offensively, six touchdowns, 380 total yards, while racking up 42 points, and it wasn't all Simeon and Sanders. 154 of those yards can be attributed to C.J. Anderson, who had himself a game with both a receiving and rushing touchdown. Defensively, where do I even begin? How about the no-fly zone who lived up to their name? Bradley Roby with some stellar coverage on Des Bryant in the end zone. Chris Harris with an interception and the final dagger to Dallas. Akeem Tlaib with his 10th pick six of his career with a 103-yard return. <laughs> nice. Now for my MVP of the matchup, Denver's entire D-line who dominated Dallas's run game, which averaged less than three yards per carry. The NFLPA said that there would be no irreparable harm if Ezekiel Elliott played while the Players Union fights his six-game suspension, and they were right. No harm at all as he had the worst game of his career, picking up just eight yards on nine carries. Rich Eisen with the tweet of the game, the Broncos doing what the NFL could not, effectively removing him from the game. Oof, burn, but the Broncos seared the Cowboys Cowboys even worse, 42 to 17 the final. Yeehaw! Next up, the Buffalo Bills and hopefully Benny Fowler, who suffered a concussion, and Garrett Bowles, who was carted off with a lower body injury, will be good to go by then. For all the Broncos insight that you could ever want, follow Nick Cosmider and Nikki Javala on Twitter.